Hello, Beverly Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day, girl. We keep talking about the real housewife of Beverly Hills as usual. I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now that this season was so intense that I can see myself talking about all the ramifications of this season for a very, very long time. And um, now we need to talk about Garcelle Boy Bay. She uh, was interviewed uh, today and uh, in a little interview, but she definitely talked a lot about Diana Jenkins and Andy Cohen, and we definitely, definitely need to talk about it. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. If you want to support my channel, now you can do it through the thank bottom right here. And let's talk about this oh, mess. Hey, yo, meal. No. Is not here right now. Erica, I don't have to make you look bad. You can do that on your own. <laughs> better? Is bitch better? I'm shaking. I'm physically shaking. Welcome back, everyone. And before we start, it is time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the people from Liquid IB. Girl, this is amazing and it is so good. It's all about hydration, okay? So if you are into going to the gym or playing sports or walking or swimming or whatever you are into that you are sweating and losing electrolytes, forget about the Gatorade, forget about the Powerade. This is what you need, all right? This will hydrate you twice as fast as water. It is super convenient. It's little like um, packs. Let me show you guys. It's like little packs, you take one, you put it in your bottle of water, you are ready to go. And they have all these amazing flavors, um, green apple, berry acai, strawberry, um, the list goes on and on and on, okay? So if you want to get your liquid IV, make sure to go to the link in the description below and do not forget to use my discount code SHADEMAN EMPIRE and you will get 15% off plus free shipping. So go and get your liquid IV right now. All right, guys. So whew, I'm telling you, liquid IV saved my life from the hangover on Halloween. <laughs> and it also works for that, okay? So um, anyways, let's talk about what is going on on the 90210. As you know, Diana Jenkins came the other day and she said that, well, she didn't say, read her online report that Diana find out who was behind the bot attack or at least one person that was behind the bot attack. Apparently she, you know, she did this whole lawsuit. She, um, you know, against Facebook and she's trying to find who is behind this, especially, uh, you know, Garcelle's son receives so many like racist comments and she's trying to get somewhere. So, you know, she said that she found out who this person is, is linked to someone that is probably living in Northern California and well, you know, but there is no names yet. There is no addresses. There is no, like, we don't know for sure. That's the only thing that we know according to Radar Online. So Garcelle, you know, she was interviewed and they asked her, hey, what do you think? What do you think about, you know, Diana finding out who the bots are? Have you been talking to her? Blah, blah, blah. I'm telling you, Garcelle will not talk about Diana Jenkins. Garcelle will not speak to Diana Jenkins. And I have to tell you, because I feel that Garcelle is such a good judge of character, there must be something going on in there. Something that, that she's not letting us in, something that she's saving for next season, I have no idea. But the disdain that Garcelle has for Diana, it has to have deeper roots, okay? Um, she basically, uh, uh, on, on this, she basically just said like, oh, um, good for her. I'm doing my own investigation. I'm waiting for my own answers. And that's pretty much it. So the fact that Diana is, you know, 
trying to help, you know, and Garcelle doesn't want to hear about it is because there must be something else. I'm telling you, there something happened between Garcelle and Diana that we need to know because it's it's not normal hate, you know. And I, I do believe that Garcelle 100% either believes or knows that Diana was behind the attack somehow. I don't know. Talking about Diana before we jump into the next topic, uh, Diana actually just filed a lawsuit against NT from Crazy Days and Nights. You know, she, uh, they do the whole blind items and all of that. And she basically threat the world and said that whoever keeps spreading fake information about the rumors of her being involved in, you know, into sex trafficking and like the Madame things and all of that will be sued as well. It will be interesting to see how that lawsuit really goes. A lot of people are saying like, well, freedom of speech, you know, um, and that is very true. But I also going to say like, that's why when we talk about blind items or, or, or rumors that we don't really have a tangible like proof, we have to be very careful, right? And we always say allegedly, we always say like, this is a rumor, you know, um, because it's a very great, dangerous area to be. And it will be interesting to see how, you know, this lawsuit is going to go. And if, you know, like Diana is digging her own grave or something else will come out from this. I don't know. I found that to be interesting. I just wanted to tell you guys that part. I didn't want to do a whole video because that's the, the only thing that happened. She literally filed a lawsuit against NT. So let's see. Let's see what is going to happen with them. Let me know what you guys think about that one. So last but not least, they asked Garcelle Boybe about her current relationship with Andy Cohen. As you know, Andy Cohen publicly apologized to Garcelle for, um, you know, not talking on the right way at the reunion when the whole thing with the book happened. And then he kind of like changed the conversation to like, oh, my God, the world was saying like, Did you, you don't recycle and like trying to make it all about recycling. And we were all like, bitch, no one gives a fuck is if Lisa Renner recycles or not. You know, like we don't care that the book was in the same trash can as the phone. Like we don't care about those things right now. So, um, and, and he diverted that conversation instead of like maintaining the focus on where it needed to be, you know? So he apologized publicly. So Garcelle said that before he issued the public apology, he did call her privately and they have a good conversation and he apologized to her and she accepted his apology. She says that she loves Andy Cohen, that she knew uh, that she was not trying to do any uh, malicious uh, in a malicious way and that they're just going to move on because they are very good. Um, she didn't use the, the word friends, but that they were they were good, you know, and that she loved him and respect him a lot. And that yes, they talk and they move on from that. So that's where we are right now. Garcelle hates Diana Jenkins and loves Andy Cohen, basically. So let me know what you guys think on the comments below about all of this mess. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.